Okay, welcome to section 3.6. So we have one last function, type of function to talk about for derivatives, um, and those are the inverse trig functions. Uh, the other functions have all been taken care of except for these. So we, I wrote out or typed out the ones for uh, inverse, cosine, cotangent, and cosecant. Those are right here. Um, because these three we're not going to use too much and that's because the derivatives of these guys right here are the same thing just without the negatives uh, and so this is going to be really useful when we go backwards um, like in chapter five uh, we start to integrate and so your derivative rules just kind of reverse themselves um, so these three functions you're not really going to see in that format. So the ones that we stick to are pretty much just these three right here. So for arc sine, when you do its derivative, uh, you take the derivative of what's in there. So that would be u prime, and that's going to sit on top of the quantity, the square root of 1 minus u squared. So you take whatever's inside of the arc sine and you square it and you're subtracting it from one and it's inside the radical in a denominator. All right, arc tangent uh, starts out kind of the same way. Do the derivative of what's inside, so that would be u prime, and then it's over, and then this denominator is gonna be one plus u squared, so no radical with that. And then for arc secant, it has the u prime on top surprise surprise and then it's over uh, now this one's a little bit strange it's going to be the absolute value of u times the square root of a u squared minus one and we are, are assuming that u is a differentiable function of x so again these are the three that we're going to really be targeting uh, not so much these three but there you go that's what they are if you want them Okay, find the derivative. So we're just going to start using the rules. So arc sine of x squared. So the x squared is, is what's inside. So I want the derivative of x squared. That's the u. So the u is your x squared, which means u prime is 2x. So you can write this out. You can think it in your head. You know, it's up to you. Uh, but regardless, u prime is on top, so the 2x goes up there. And then it's over root 1 minus uh, the u squared. Well, if u is x squared, i got to square that and make it x to the fourth. So these derivatives, they can go kind of fast as long as you know the formula. Okay, part b, arc secant of 3x. So your u is 3x, which means u prime is 3. So the u prime's on top. Then do the absolute value of u, or 3x, times the square root of 9x squared minus 1. Now sometimes with the arc secant, you can simplify this out. Because in the absolute value, you can pull out a constant, so you can pull a 3 out of there as long as you keep it positive. So the 3s are actually going to cancel. So we end up with 1 over absolute value of x root 9x squared minus 1. Now you can only do that with constants. Don't pull a variable out. <clears throat> All right, moving on, part C. Your u is root x, which means u prime is 1 half x to the negative half. So that's what's going to go in the numerator. All over 1 plus, and then I'm taking the u and i got to square it. So 1 plus x. Now I can't leave this the way it is because I have a fraction within a fraction. So this x to the negative 1 half, I can stick it next to the 2, change it back to a radical. And then that 2 root x is going to kind of swing down 
and get multiplied to the one plus x. You can distribute this if you want, uh, otherwise you can go ahead and leave it alone. All right, part D. <laughs> now we've got something interesting. Now we've got a product rule uh, with an inverse trig function and a logarithm. That's pretty cool. Got a lot of stuff happening in there. So let's just work our way through it. Okay, so product rule to start. Derivative of x is one times arc tangent of two x plus the derivative of arc tangent. So the derivative of two x is just two all over one plus take the 2x and you got to square it. So that would be a 4x squared. So we just followed that formula right there. Whoops. <laughs> but then we have to also multiply by that first term, which was x. And minus now I can attack the logarithm, so 1 over 4. And then for the logs, remember, whatever is inside the logarithm, that goes in the denominator. And then the derivative of what's in the log goes on top, so that would be an 8x. Okay, so let's simplify this down. That's just our tangent of 2x. plus uh, this x just gets multiplied to the 2. Minus uh, 8 divided by 4 is 2. So lo and behold, those two fractions, bam, cancel out. And you're left with just arc tangent of 2 x and that is your derivative that's pretty cool how it simplifies into that so now it is possible um like when we start going backwards if you do the reverse of this if you integrated it and got all the way back you would end up with uh this as your uh as your answer but that's pretty neat um so it's one of the kind of few instances where if you do a derivative, it actually gets uh, into a smaller function than what you started with. All right, so that is actually gonna do it for section 3.6. Um, the rest of the section, like there's actually more in there. It talks about inverse functions in general. Um, so you can look over that if, you're, if you really wanted to, but the only thing uh, for me that you need to pay attention to uh, is just this stuff right, right here. Okay, so try the homework out and let me know what your questions are.